Two ships shut down the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel this morning when they nearly collided near the tunnel. Yeah, Nicole, look at how close it is in this picture. You see the cargo ship right here. Here is the island, so the tunnel is right here under the water. Several viewers contacted 10 your side to report what sounded like a crash and a loud alarm that woke them up. They didn't know what was going on here, so I spent the day digging for answers. This is the site that scared quite a few folks. A large cargo ship stopped in the channel, practically on top of the tunnel. Viewers in Chicks Beach reported hearing a crunching sound and a long, loud alarm. It all started just before 6 a.m. We, we um, started our standard operating procedures and, and dispatched uh, police units out there. Baybridge police found two cargo ships in the channel, one entering, one leaving. Lieutenant Hollis Brickhouse says they were on a collision course, so one ship dropped anchor to let the other pass by. But how did that one ship get off course, and are there any repercussions, I ask? I would have to refer you to the uh, Pilots Association for how they um, handled that. I went to the Virginia Pilot Association. No one would comment because the Coast Guard is investigating. The Coast Guard won't comment either. Here's what I did find out. Every ship entering and leaving the Port of Hampton Roads must have a harbor pilot on board. That person is deployed by the Pilot Association and is specially trained to navigate local channels. He or she acts as the captain until the ship is either docked or safely out to sea. So both ships had a local pilot on board. As for the traffic tie-up, Brickhouse called it a necessary precaution. For our policy and procedure, I would say it worked, worked well this morning. Brickhouse says the tunnel was never compromised, but had there been any damage or a terrorist threat, they were ready. It was a good, good false call for us. Good false call, he says. Now, a Coast Guard spokesman told me that investigations on the water, much more difficult than on a roadway, but each pilot will be tested for drug and alcohol use. And if... It is found that one of them did something wrong. The repercussions can vary depending on the infraction. Now, as for the loud alarm some viewers heard, police say there's no alarm. It was just their sirens.